I get it, fashion is expensive. Imagine wanting to get a pair of Rick Dunks and it goes for five grand ungrilled. That's crazy, right? And now you're trying to get your hands on a pair of Ramones because you think it's cheaper and you don't want to break the bank. Well, turns out you're just being dumb and delusional the whole time because it's just as expensive. Now, here comes the question. Why so many people are willing to pay such a high amount of money for pieces of clothing and garments just to look like a guy who spent his whole life sleeping in the streets without taking a single shower? Like, bro, do you know he's wearing Balenciaga, though? Like, bro, do you know that? Anyway, most importantly, why do fashion brands choose to set such a high price for their products, expecting and knowing people will actually pay for it? Now, first off, the most obvious and common answer of it all, the quality of the product. I mean, there's definitely a reason behind everyone saying that. And quality for sure is one of the many factors that are being considered while determining the price of a certain piece. For example, let's take a goose down jacket, for instance. A goose down jacket costs a lot more than just a usual duck down jacket. And that's because goose down is considered a more rare material since it can only be collected from more mature birds. And while duck down is basically made to supply a bigger demand and to be accessible to a wider audience. And that's why the quality of clothes really matters. Right here I have a jacket that I have and it's a goose down jacket and it's really really warm. Like goose down is actually a really really warm material. This is a Heliot Emil. Um, I don't even know the, the season of this, but it's a Heliot Emil um, carabiner down jacket, and it's really, really cool. Like, one of my favorite details in this jacket is, like, um, this thing right here. It has, like, those um, hiking rings, and it looks really, really cool. Now, before we get on to the next answer, I just want to ask a quick question. Like, have you ever walked down the street and just see tons of Louis back ads all over the place? That right there essentially makes marketing as one of the many reasons why some famous designer brands are so expensive. Now, fashion marketing includes having runway shows dedicated to a certain collection. And for fashion shows, model and staff are needed. And that needs money. And that amount of money is thrown into the price of a clothing for the brand to try to make a profit off it. Now, we all love examples, right? So let's take one of the most famous fashion shows of all time maybe it's not the most famous but it's my favorite like one of my favorites of all time let's take ref simmons 2001 fall collection right 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 as an example it produced one of the most sought after and also ridiculously expensive piece which is the ride camp bomber and in my opinion if it wasn't marketed as Raf Simmons first collection after his return to fashion, the bomber wouldn't be as popular and costly as it is today. Also, not gonna lie, if I have that jacket, I would love to wear it every day just to feel like I'm a level above anyone else. Now, speaking of the feeling of wearing such an expensive piece of clothing, have you ever thought about fashion brands knowing what their targeted clients would feel after using their products? Like the feeling of prestige is totally why some rich people would pay 1750 bucks for a Gucci logo hoodie just to feel like a small brat. Like, I don't care what anyone else says, but if you're actually willing to pay for that, you should be sent to a psychiatrist and get locked up right away. Especially the ones who would force themselves to wear those skinny tight jeans throughout the whole year and have an Instagram teaching how men should dress. Like, bro, what happened, man? I don't care if you're calling me salty because that's just how I feel, dog. Now, anyway, in my opinion, the most crucial of all is the story behind it. Now, before y'all just start booing me and say stuff like, oh, of course you're gonna say that, that's what anyone says. I just wanna say that that's because it's true. Like, it's actually accurate. I feel like the sentimental value of a piece of clothing is always the most important. And no matter what, in my opinion, nothing beats the story behind a statement piece. Like, for example, the Rick Owens Just Do Later dunks. It goes for a crazy price, right? Like, everyone wants to get their hands on a pair of those, like I said in the, in the beginning of the video. And, like, I bet half the people who owns a pair of dunks don't even know why they go for a crazy price. And that's because of the controversy it caused and how it got discontinued. Now, not everyone is able to get their hands on a pair of these just because of how valuable they are. And at the end of the day, fashion is and will continue to remain as an expensive hobby for a lot of people. But like, 
if you look at the story behind the piece and the effort that goes into a piece, the prize only sums up how respected the brand is among the industry and the public. And and I feel like if you're only focusing on the price of a piece, I feel like you're not respecting what goes behind the fashion piece and you're just saying that it's expensive. Like bro, just admire the effort that goes into the design and the story behind it. That's just how I feel about it.